Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your Six Studios. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix your PlayStation 5 cannot download games, updates, or DLC. So let's go ahead and jump into the video right now. So many times if you are trying to download an update on your PlayStation 5, if you press the PlayStation button and then you go on over to downloads, you can see the reason why your download didn't go ahead and complete. So sometimes it will say like, it can't download because there's not enough storage on your PlayStation 5. And then you gotta go up to settings here and select this, and then go on down to storage, and then just go to your console storage or your M.2 SSD storage, and just make sure there's enough free space available. So delete some games, applications, media, etc., to make more room so your download can actually complete. In some games, you need a lot more free space than it actually says, so just make sure there's enough. Then you can back out here and then you can go to network. Now under here, go to settings, then go to setup internet connection. Then find your current connection. So I'm using Word LAN 1. I'm gonna press options on it and then go to advanced settings. Then go to where it says DNS settings. Mine says automatic, switch it over to manual. For the primary DNS, type this in 8.8.8.8. .8 .8 .8. Then go to the secondary DNS and type in 8.8.4.4, R2 and done. Then go to the MTU settings and type in 1472. Just like this. Then press R2 and done and go over to OK. And then it's going to connect to the internet. So I'm currently connected. Now let's back out of here. Now what we want to do is start our PlayStation 5 into the safe mode minis. So press the PlayStation button, go on over to power and completely turn off your PlayStation 5. So it will say preparing to turn off your PS5 now. Now with your PlayStation 5 completely turned off and there's no like orange light right here on the light bar, locate the power button and hold this down. You will hear one beep initially and then you'll hear like a second beep like 10 seconds later. So my PlayStation 5 will launch into the safe mode menu now since I heard that second beep. And I need to plug in my PlayStation 5 controller via a USB cable. Otherwise, I won't be able to operate the safe mode menu. Once you have the controller plugged in, press the PlayStation button. And you should be able to use the D-pad now to scroll through the different options. So here is the safe mode menu. Now, sometimes you can't download an update because you have to download the system software. And there's an error downloading it. Well, you can go to option number three. And then go to update using internet right here and select this. And this will install a fresh copy of the system software back to your PlayStation 5. So go ahead and do this. It will download the copy and then restart the PlayStation. Then you can also try this. Option number 5, clear cache and rebuild database. Then go on down to option number 2, rebuild database on the PlayStation 5. And if there's any kind of like corrupted data on your PlayStation, this should go ahead and fix that. Also, you can try clear the system software cache right here on the top. So those are all the options you can go ahead and try to fix your cannot download issues on the PlayStation 5. If this video did indeed help you out, go ahead and leave a big thumbs up. And subscribe to my channel down below for more tech help videos coming up next on Your 6 Studios.